we are going to talk about subtractions now uh, as we use them in Vedic math. This is a series, video number two in the series. I'm Sarwan Agrawal. I'm a certified VM teacher. So we, in this section, we are going to discuss subtraction using the sutras in Vedic math. And I'm Sarwan Agrawal. I'm a certified v VM teacher. Let's go over outline. We are going to discuss this subtractions in four different sections. Subtraction using sutras, the first section. Subtraction as a game, second section. Subtraction using zones, third section. Subtraction using negative numbers, fourth section. We are now on the first section using sutras. All from 9 and the last from 10 is the main sutra used in subtraction. All from 9 and the last from 10 is the 10th complement. And in my opinion, the sutra is a lot easier to apply than 10th complement is. All right, let's see. Uh, what do we mean by all from 9 and the last from 10? Let's consider this number 8, 7, 6. All from 9 means 8 from 9 is 1. So 7 from 9 is 2. 6, that's the last one. 6 from 10 is 4. So 8 from 9 is 1, 7 from 9 is a 2, and 6, last one, from 10 is a 4. Another example here, we're going to do all from 9 and last from 10 54. For 5, 5 from 9 is 4. Now for this is last digit, 4 from 10 is a 6. Another example here. 9, only one digit. So it's all from 9, last from 10. This is last digit. So 9 from 10 is 1. Uh, we're going to continue with Sutra here and let's make some observations here. Where can I use the Sutra? We can use the Sutra in subtraction and we will use that in subtraction. How much is 876 plus 124? See, 124 is all from 9 and last from 10 of 876. If we add the 2 together, see what happens. That's 1000. 1 followed by zeros. Number of zeros is equal to number of digits in the first number or number of digits in the second number. That's Look at the next example here where we say all from 9 and last from 10 of 54 is 46. If we add 54 and 46, what do we get? We get 100, which is 1 followed by two zeros. Two zeros are number of digits in the, these two digits. Either number 54 has two digits and 46 has two digits. All right, and last was all from 9 and last from 10. 10 of 9 was 1. 9 plus 1 is 10. 10 is same pattern 1 followed by zeros. So number of zeros here is equal to number of digits in the number 9. From the previous slide we notice 876 plus 124 is 1000. That means that 1000 minus 876 must be 124. So if you subtract 876 from both sides, right side become 1000 minus 876 and left become 124. If you rewrite this uh, problem here as a two lines, 1000 minus 874. Answer is, it's four in the units column here. Zero minus four, six, which is six from 10. 2 is in the 10th column, which is 9 minus 7. That means 7 is from 9. The 1 is in 100's column, which is 9 minus 8 is 1. That means 8 from 9. And 0 is the 
in the thousands column. So in thousands column, it must be 1 minus 1, which is 1 less than before. So in the three column, with there were three zeros in the first row and non-zero in the second row. We had R from 9 and last from 10. In the thousand place where we had a 1 in the first line and a 0 in the second line, we say 1 less than before. 1 minus 1 is 0. So answer was 0, 1, 2, 4. In the, in the answer, we remove the 0 on the left. So that's 0, 1, 2, 4. That's this 0, 1, 2, 4 is the same thing as 1, 24. The 0 on the left doesn't mean much. So neither borrower nor lender be. In VM, we do neither. And what we do instead, we let the sutras do that for us. The sutras we have is all from 9 and last from 10. And also we also use. Okay, let's go just look at this problem here is 1000 minus 589, which is of the same type we just discussed. First line it has a 1 followed by zeros, and second line have non-zero digits. Number of digits in second line is equal to number of zeros in the first line. We subtract using one less than before in the thousands place here of the non-zero digit in first line. So in the thousands place of the answer we have a zero. Okay. All from nine and last from ten of the second line. So 589 we apply all from 9 and last from 10 to get a 4, 1, and a 1. Okay. Now we're going to discuss one example here, which is 10,000 minus 5832. Same pattern we had before 1 followed by zeros, non zero digit followed by zeros, and subtracted term has a 4 digits and which is equal to number of zeros in the first row. In 10,000 place, we, it's, we apply one less than before. That would be one minus one, and e which is equal to zero. All right. In 1,000th place, zero minus five, we are going to apply from 9, all from 9 and last from 10. So 5 from 9 is a 4. So next digit of the answer is 1000 place. In 100th place, we have 0 minus 8 and we are going to apply from 9 again. 9 minus 8 is 1. 8 from 9 is 1. So next digit of the answer is 1. We would get a 1 in 100th. Now we have a 0 minus 3 here in 10th place and we would apply from 9 again. Play, apply, so that's 3 from 9 is 6, 9 minus 3 is 6. In 10th place we got a 6. Now we're going to, uh, we need to work on the units place. We apply from 10. 2 from 10 is 8, 10 minus 2 is 8. So we have uh, solved all the answer digits here, 0, 4, 1, 6, 8. The answer to 10,000 minus 5, 8, 3, 2 is 4, 1, 6, 8. We just ignored this 0 on the left of the answer. So what we did, we applied this sutra all from 9 and last from 10 to the digits in the second row. Let's look up another example here, which is 50,000 minus 7392. It's the same format. A non-zero digit followed by zeros. Okay. In the leftmost column, where we have 5 in the first line, apply 1 less than before to get 4. So in the 10,000th place, we would get in a 4. 
we got a 4 in the leftmost place here, which is 10,000 place, and we have a 7392 being subtracted from 50,000, and we just applied one less than before to the digit in leftmost column. For the rest of these, we have to apply all from 9 and last from 10. So in the other column, we apply all from 9 and last from 10 to 7392. So where 7 is, we get from 9 is a 2. For 3 is from, 3 from 9 is a 6. Where 9 is, 9 from 9 is 0. And last one, 2. 2 from 10 is 8. So all from 9 and last from 10 of 7392 is 2608. So 2608 is the answer in the next. So we have got an answer for 2608. We have solved for all five digits of the answer. So the answer to this problem is 50,000 minus 7392 is 42608. 42608. Let's consider some exercises. 100 minus 73, 1000 minus 276, 10,000 minus 8910, 50,000 minus 6934, 30,000 minus 2367, 5000 minus 853, 7000 minus 457. You can do these and some other similar examples using the sutras. Let's look at this problem of 18 buys a game for $73.54. And has the cashier a hundred dollar bill. How much change does she get back from the cashier? So this is a change problem and we would apply the sutra we just discussed to solve this problem. So we need to solve $100 minus $73.54. Okay, so that is similar to 10,000 minus 7354. Remove the dollar sign and remove the dots, uh, decimal points. So we get it similar to, we are left with 10,000 minus 7354. After we apply sutras, which becomes 2646, 6. 1 becomes 0, 7 becomes 2, 7 from 9, 3 becomes 6, 3 from 9, 5 becomes 4. 5 from 9, 4 becomes 6, that last one, 4 from 10. So answer to this problem is $100 minus $73.54 is 2646. So we have used, used these sutras to do a change problem. How much change? Okay, you can you know, Use the sutras to do ten dollars minus five dollars thirty four cents, one dollars minus fifty eight cents, hundred dollars minus twenty nine dollars thirty five cents, twenty dollars minus twelve dollars seventy nine cents, fifty dollars minus thirty five dollars seventy eight cents. Uh, yes, you can use use them in pound and cents also, and also rupees and a peso. Now we would discuss a general problem which does not exactly fit into this pattern we just discussed. So, but I don't have a problem that fits the pattern discussed before. Let's see what we do here. So let's consider this problem here: seven five four eight nine minus four eight nine three four. First row does not consist of a non-zero digit followed by all the zeros, okay? But instead, it has a, a general form 75489. Let's see what we can do here. 
we will split that into two problems. Which ones? One of that subtraction matching the previous pattern. So we know how to solve a problem, subtraction problem of the type we just discussed. So we would split that into a problem of that type and another of addition. So we would, instead of one problem of subtraction, we would do So we would, uh, we were looking at this problem here, sin 5, 4, 8, 9, minus 4, 8, 9, 3, 4. We had decided to split that into two problems. So first thing we do is by addition and by subtraction, we change the problem to 7, 5, 4, 8, 9, minus 4, 8, 9, 3, 4, as before, plus 5, 4, 8, 9, minus 5, 4, 8, 9. So add 5, 4, 8, 9 and subtract 5, 4, 8, 9. The number 5, 4, 8, 9 we use here is came from the last four digits of the first line, 7, 5, 4, 8, 9. So we have a subtracted and added 5, 4, 8, 9. We are trying to convert 75489 to 70,000. That means we would regroup minus 5489 with the 75489. So this is our regrouping is 5489 we still have at the end. This minus 48934 is still here. And this minus 5489 we regroup with the 75489 here. So that's 70,000. Minus seventy five four eight nine minus five four eight nine is seventy thousand. This minus four eight nine three four and a plus five four eight nine. This one inside the parentheses we can do solve using the sutras we have been doing. In the leftmost column we have one less than before, which is seven minus one minus four, which is two. And the rest of the column is all from 9 and last from 10. 8 from 9 is a 1. 9 from 9 is 0. 9, 3 from 9 is a 6. And 4 from 10 is a 6. 21066 6 plus 5489. So we would add these two numbers together. Basically, we have converted this problem to its equivalent problem, which is that which this problem is equivalent, which is equal, equivalent to this problem, and which is we solved first subtraction problem, and then is uh, after that, this term plus that term is equivalent to the original problem. And you can add them together and to get a 2655 as answer. So wasn't that divided and conquer? So we kind of divide and conquer. We split in the one problem into two simpler problems. One of them, we applied the sutras right away. Another, and there are some exercises you could do. First one uh, example I use is 28652 minus 217316. Next example I use is 622060. Minus four six seven three nine three. Next is eight four nine seven eight eight minus two one eight one one two and some more. References. This is the main reference uh, Vedic Math Teachers Manual, and this is the one we used in uh, our teacher training. Vedic Math for Schools uh, by James T. Glover has uh, subtractions. Okay. Vedic math for all ages by one single also has subtractions.